Hello everybody, welcome to another time-lapse drawing. Uh, this one's a little bit different from my usual stuff. It's not um, the usual dot work with the micron, or you know, like the small nibbed pens and all the colour and stuff. Uh, this one is another kind of thing that I really enjoy doing, which is drawing using biro and silver pens on uh, tissue paper. So you get a different colour tissue paper, because you can buy packs of like, you know, 20 different colours and stuff. So it's quite cool to have all this variety of different colours you can draw on. Um, so here I've picked an orange one. And I've um, started doing a very basic tiger sort of drawing. Just, you know, off the, off the top of your head, just you can just pick wherever you want. And I thought, orange, okay, I'll draw a tiger. And then, um, yeah, just quickly borrowed it in after doing a pencil sketch. And then added the stripes. And then um, did a bit of shading on it, first of all. Just to um, just to get some depth and you know, sort of shape to it, and get it all settled in. And uh, you've got to be really careful with the biro because obviously it's tissue paper, it rips very easily. And I think I probably ripped this one about six times. And the amount of time I've done these things, this is probably my fourth or fifth one now of these kind of drawings. And um, yeah, I rip the page every time. I've done um, I've done an octopus. And what else have I done? I've done a big tree and a peacock feather. But yeah, here's the best bit. Uh, in a second, is it? This is still biro. It's still just the shading. But yeah, once you've got this, you know, like your basic shaded animal or whatever you're drawing, then you get the fun bit, which is um, coming in with the silver pen. And you've got to choose very specifically very simple areas you want to do in silver. So I've chosen, I've gone for the um, for the stripes of the tiger, and its teeth, and its claws, and its eyes, and the the little sort of white pads you get on the back of its feet. I've done them in in silver pen too. But you just want to choose some very simple basic bits that don't need necessarily shading or anything like that because um, you can't draw over this silver pen once you've drawn it down basically the biro doesn't really write on it very well so you want to choose the most simplest just just areas of detail that you want to sort of stand out in silver and I thought it would be nice to have the the stripes standing out nicely and obviously because it's a tiger you want the rest of its fur to be orange and the cool thing as well is that um, with this silver pen in this angle as you can see it's black so it gives it the black stripes, but then from other angles it's silver, which gives it the silver stripes, it's quite cool. Uh, then I just added some sort of rock work behind it, I guess, to make it look like it's sort of climbing a mountain and turning back and snarling at you. And that's pretty much it. This is all just roughly scribbled in, there's no real planning in this stonework. Not that you can really plan stones, they're all pretty, pretty organic, aren't they? You just sort of go with it. I put a few sort of reeds in there as well to look like it's a it's a mountainside. And that's it guys, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um you can go onto Instagram and find my stuff at keeping a wheat underscore art where the A in wheat is a four. And find me on Facebook by searching keeping it wheat art as well. And here's the finished product. Hope you liked it guys. Thank you very much.